Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Sophie. Welcome back friends. Um, so today is a little bit different. Today's going to be a day in the life, but we're doing a little bit different schedule than what we normally do. So Sophie is going to be my buddy today, right? Yes. You have piggy tails? Mm-hmm. Sophie's going to be hanging out with me today. We got to go get her some clothes. She has grown she has really, really long legs. So now that she finally fits into all of her pants that were like a size seven, um, we gotta get something bigger. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do about the waist. We may have to buy dresses. I'm not really sure, but um, we need to get her a few clothes for fall. And um, we've already started on her school. Katie has school today. She has a, her English class today. So Gary's gonna take her and pick her up. We're gonna go, Sophie and I are gonna go to my mom's and help her out a little bit and then go do a little bit of clothes shopping for this little cutie. Yeah. Yeah. She has, um, I've gone through a few of her clothes. I need to go through all of her clothes and I might do that this afternoon, but she has literally no long pants. So no leggings and no jeans at all. So we definitely need to go ahead and handle that because it is starting. It's not really starting. I wouldn't say it's starting to cool off, but it's nowhere near as hot. So like I'm wearing jeans. Um, sometimes now it's probably been mostly in like the low eighties, right? Yep. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and finish math. Try to get all of our schoolwork done before I need to go um, to my mom's. I probably wanna try to be there around 12. Love changes every heart, and any heart can change you. And this handsome man is cleaning up the kitchen for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's cleaning up the kitchen for me so I can do math with Sophie. They have sunflowers out now at Harris Teeter. So we got a few sunflowers the other day. So I was telling you on our homeschool update um, the other day that Sophie's been able to do her math more independently. So I wanted to show y'all what her math looks like. So the, it might actually be easier if I show you the teacher's book. So there's actually four pages. So she's able to do this by herself. So just the addition or subtraction and, and she can do this part where you're filling in the missing number and then she can do this part with addition in the clocks this is all really review mm -hmm. i did that for today you did good job yeah and then there's two other pages and usually it's newer stuff um like for instance she's never added you know the three digit numbers together she has added two digit numbers but this isn't really any different because there's no carrying yet um or borrowing when they do subtraction some fractions and then over here she has a speed drill and the um first grade book the speed drills were like a separate thing i had to remember to do so i like it that these are like part of the lesson and not a separate thing um so anyway she can do these by herself so really with this lesson today this is the only page I'm gonna to need to help her with so Katie's in here working on her stuff she has school um, in about an hour mm -hmm. Gary's gonna take her today so last week on Thursday I think I filmed and class was canceled for you it was like a planned cancellation mm -hmm. and then this past Tuesday class was canceled and that was not planned your teacher had like a COVID test so test and thankfully that was negative but basically they didn't have class just in case well, I have class, but it was on like online. Line. Yeah, so, so this is the first day in a week that you've had to actually go to class because mm -hmm. you had class online on Tuesday and then you just did work instead of class on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So what are you working on right now? Uh, I'm just working on um, something for French. Usually she'll review her stuff for English before she goes, but you don't I really... I don't have anything to review. Uh, well, have a good day at class. Don't y'all think Katie looks so cute in her new glasses? Hey, I wish you could see yourself Just sitting there on my chair
Sophie loves for me to draw a smiley face sun whenever she gets her speed drills right. You're a good student, aren't you, Sophie? Yes. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. I'll do. And B. Green, brown, gray, or black. Gray, tan, well, up to 50 years. Friends, we'd love to pray for you. If we can pray for you, let us know in the comments below. Harry and Katie have already left for Katie to go to school <laughs> while they were on the way. I had to reschedule all of these things called lingua meetings that Katie has. So part of her French class, it's, it's a really cool program. They have um, basically paid for Katie, or she paid for it through her tuition, but it's included in her tuition for her to be able to speak on six different times with a native French speaker. So um, she had her first one yesterday and the guy never showed up. It's like a Zoom meeting kind of thing. And um, so anyway, we had to get with the professor and figure out what to do and all of that kind of stuff. So they refunded that and so today I rescheduled her with somebody else. We found out that that guy like basically had left the company or whatever. So I spent the morning doing school with Sophie and rescheduling all of Katie's meetings for her French class while they were on the way to her English class. So now Sophie and I are getting ready to go help Nana. She's bringing her iPad because she finished her school. So she has something to do while I help Nana. And then what are we gonna do, Sophie? Go corn shopping. And then try to get her some, especially some jeans, right? Yeah, or I can go something else I need. Something that's not shorts, right? Yeah. It's kind of a dreary day out here today. Okay, we made it back from Bluffton. I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, what we got for Sophie. Mostly what we got was clothing for Sophie, which is the primary reason we went. Um, also, we went to help my mom. So we went to her house first, then we went to um, Target, and then we went to Old Navy. So I'll start over here with the Target stuff first. Um, this was just that Cat and Jack. This is like a thin, um, kind of, it looks like a sweatshirt, but it's thinner than that. Um, and then I also got the matching sweatpants. They're that same thinner material. So I felt like this was good for transitional weather and she could put like a shirt under it or cami or something to be a little warmer when it's cold. Then we got this is more of like a sweatshirt feel. I really thought this was just adorable with this red flower print. It's a hoodie um, and it's got like this cream kind of sleeve end and on the bottom here. Then we got this, a nightgown. She needs a good, she doesn't have any like winter pajamas, so we're gonna have to go find some more, but we got this one at Target. So that was everything we got at Target for Sophie. And then I also picked up this candle. Um, it's by the Hearth and Hand um, brand, and it is called Harvest Spice. And I thought it was a pretty good buy because it was about the same price as a Bath and Body Works candle, but it's got a lot more candle in here um, for the money. So it's like a three wick candle. It's probably about the same circumference, but it's about maybe twice as tall. So um, and it smells really good. So I got that. And then I also got this mat for my front porch, but I've been, I've been having a hard time finding one, but I finally found this one. So I think this is gonna work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of finish up my front porch. And then at Old Navy, we got this mustard yellow dress. This is a good color on Sophie. It's kind of like a golden yellow. And then I also got her this thing for her hair to do like a ponytail with, which she thought was really cute. And then we got this dress that is short sleeve, but it's a little bit longer and um, it's kind of tiered through here. And it's definitely fall color, so I felt like that would be good for her. And the main thing that she needed was pants. Um, 
she really didn't have any leggings that still fit or jeans so i got her two pairs of black leggings from old navy and then three pairs of jeans so i think she's got most of what she needs now i'm probably going to try to find one more pair of leggings and i'll probably also try to find one more dress and maybe a couple of other tops i still need to go through her clothes and see what still works um, and I haven't done that yet, so I didn't want to buy too much, but I definitely know that I have some sweatshirts that I'm going to have to, to um, go ahead and donate. And I already donated all of her pants. They were all too short. So um, she has to have the, it's like a super skinny, um, um, the spallerina. And I had to go with a size 10 because her legs are so long, but she can still wear like a 6X as far as like around the waist and like her top. So, um, but if it's like a, if I'm having to worry about length, I have to go with a bigger size, um, like for, for the length. And the same thing is true for sleeve length, but most of these, I was able to go with a medium, which is I think a seven or eight. This, this is medium eight at Old Navy. And then at Target, it was medium seven, eight. So all of these are mediums and this was a medium. And these two dresses were medium. So with dresses, I have to be careful that they're long enough because even with a medium dress, sometimes it's going to be too short. But then with these, I had to go um, with 10s, which I knew I would because last year she had 8s in these jeans and they were like that much too short. So there's a big difference between an 8 and a 10 in these old navy jeans too as far as length. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff put up so I can wash it get the tags taken off and just go put it in the laundry basket so I can wash that later this week. And then I'm gonna work on some supper. Um, I'm gonna make a cheeseburger mac and cheese for supper. Um, so I'll show y'all that. I don't think I've shown that on this channel before. I'm getting ready to make supper so I'm doing a hamburger mac and cheese I'm gonna link what I'll call the inspiration recipe down below but I deviate a good bit from it so what you'll see me do is not what the instructions necessarily say I'll try to remember to tell you what I do that's different but we are going to need two cups of milk three cups of cheddar cheese a pound of beef ground beef a pound of elbow noodles and all of that is what the recipe calls for and then you use mustard, Worcestershire, and ketchup. I do that like by taste. I don't bother to measure that. And then you're also going to need um, onion powder and um, it calls for seasoned salt, but I'm just gonna use this instead, which is just a blend of salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, I really like that and I think that turns out well. So um, all of this over here is kind of by taste. So you just kind of brown the ground beef, cook the noodles, and then you're gonna, you're gonna um, season it, and then you're gonna add the cheese and the milk. For hanging out with us today friends i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye